Charlie Q, I got a call from a police officer buddy of mine in Orange. Tells me there are uh, you just moved back to Orange on Wednesday and there are already problems at the church. I what can't is going turn on? I him loose, but squad, just so I come over there and knock somebody out. Michael Berry, oh my God, are you still a attorney at law? Uh, sort of, yes. What you need get some help? That, get, get on that Google or something and see. Do it. Do a search warrants out here in Orange, Texas for anybody last name Liquor, L I Q U O R. They got the house around. I don't know whether to come out there or not. It, everything has went wrong, Michael Bear. How you doing? Good. What What's happened, Shirley Q? I have just got back down here in Orange, Texas, and just in time for Holy Week. I'm trying to do the right thing. Everything has went wrong on me, and my nerves is in a shambulatory. Last night, I went down at Holy Thursday down here at Mount Holy Olive Second Baptist Zion Church. I haven't been in five years. I expected a nice welcome from these women. And they turned their nose up because they all had on these extremely pricey hats they got down here at Palais Royal. And I made the part that Easter do not mean about hats. And all I got was dirty look from all these women. And then the pastor called in sick. He had got too much lick up in him, and we had to import a pastor, bless his heart, from North Orange Baptist Church, the old white man. And he come down there, and he was trying to do the washing of the features. And uh, they had this big old cantaloupe head lady come down there. She must have weighed 500 pounds, and she popped her damn shoes off, and that poor man passed out. She could have at least, at least sprayed her feet before she came down there. That was ignorant. And then, so we got all that behind us. We, we got it over. I come out this morning, and he's cheering out here. You know I got 19 of them. I, they out here trying to reenact Good Friday. I said, y'all get turn him a loose. My ignorant son should see. They had him being the Lord. They had Mayhawk jelly all over him and uh, blue bonnets all on a crown of ignorance on his head, trying to staple him up to this telephone pole. I told him, y'all are blasphemy up in here. And they had a rooster running around crowing up in here, and Shamika was supposed to be Pontius Pilate. It was just a tragedy. I'm so glad that he didn't send nobody from YouTube down here because I'd be so embarrassed if they showed that on the Internet. That's just ignorance, just 100% ignorance, Michael Berry. So tell me how Orange has changed since since you've been away. And I, I know every I've been getting calls from people in Orange saying, "Is it true that Shirley Q. Liquor has come home?" And, and how, how has it changed? Well, I tell you, it took me forever to get down here, honey. We first I called the uh, Continental Trailways, and uh, they don't even exist no more. So I, they called a moving van, and they told us to get up in the moving van. We made it down about to Memphis, and then I had to rent a mule and drag that thing halfway to Baton Rouge. And then finally we pulled up to Baton Rouge down there and spent the night at the Collar Green Motor Inn. Now, Baton Rouge is right. Have you been down there lately? Well, you know, I, I'm on in Baton Rouge now on WJBO. Oh, that's right. We had you on there. We was in a turquoise Cadillac riding around downtown. Oh, by the way, this uh, show is sponsored by Uncle Henry's Fox and Lady Lounge. Well, wait right wait a minute. You can't just be throwing in endorsements in the middle of my show you're getting paid yes. for. I had to. He gave me free drinks. I told him I'd mention him on the air. <laughs> it's right below the bridge on the Mississippi River. Okay. You want me to say it don't matter how you look or what shade of brown. Come on down. You can always get down at Uncle Henry's Fox and Lady Lounge. <laughs> Did you and, get down? Uh, I got down so bad I got towed up from the floor up my career. <laughs> but Baton Rouge is rent. You think all those Katrina people tore up Houston, you should see Baton Rouge. That is like Lagos, Nigeria up in there. I was scared, and I was driving in my Sammy Davis Jr. edition Cadillac with one headlight working on there and thinking I was all sedated, and then people was just looking at me and frightening me. I said, oh, Lord, let's get on the errands. So we finally pulled up in here just in time for Holy Week, and I'm so scared I'm going to get arrested behind something I had forgot I had dead. That's why I want you to check on there for me. Um, okay, so you think there are warrants out for your arrest from when you left before? I don't know, Michael. Ben, my memory is so bad. It seemed like something happened at Walmart last time. I had did a slip down in there. Uh, they had put security cameras. They saw me ease on down to the floor in all that western area. And uh, that lady said she's going to call it justice of the peace. And I blowed the whistle, got in the car, and took off. I ain't never been back since, but I've been worried they might have put me on the first 48 or something down there. So I need all this checked out. I want my constitutional Matilda rights memorized when them white people come down here to carry me off. Lord, the I last time I up. talked to you, Shirley Q, you were having trouble. You had been pulled over or something. 
uh, with Eminent. You were, what was going on with that? You got I can't remember what happened, but you had just been pulled over. Yes, I got uh, the popo had pulled me down. I had wrote a perm about it. I think I had submit to you. Oh, uh, not not guilty. Not guilty. I don't remember how it went, but it was true though. You still had that somewhere. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm gonna play that. That was good. Well, that's my way of getting back at the system. That and I'm going to register to vote. Can I register to vote, Michael Barry? I don't think you qualify, Shirley, and let's not discuss why. I don't have a birth certificate. That's for one thing. <laughs> uh, and so I may or may not be qualified. I want to run for office down here. I want to be Secretary of Homeland Medication for Texas and get pain pills out to all these women whose feet look like eggplants. Because they got women walking around here at Walmart, and their feet just be so swollen up. And they look stove up, and I feel like these ladies need free medication. And so I'm going to think about that, too. I want help filling out them damn forms, because Lord knows that's all written in them notary public words I can't understand. So did, did the people of Orange recognize you when you pulled back into town? No, I'm in the middle of the night, honey. I had to sneak these children in. Lord, we sitting over here at my Aunt Trixie's house right now. She didn't know what had happened. We had to stick her in her room and lock it up. But we bring her something to drink every hour, bring some Kool-Aid and stuff. But uh, I'm just looking around for me a house. I need to buy me a house in Orange, Michael Bear. Where do I get my Lone Star card? Uh, I, I I would not. I assumed you would have had a hookup. That's my priority now. I'm back here in Texas. I need to get that, and uh, I need to register to vote, and I need to run for office, and I need to find a gynecologist. <laughs> it's been four years since I've had a pop quiz, and I don't know what's going on down there. I had not saw this down there in 30 years, and I'm scared of them people anyway. Last time they had to put me up in veterinary stirrups, and that was ignorant. That was embarrassing. I uh, felt like I was not treated respectfully. So I'm going to need help. Anybody in Orange, y'all, I'm back in town. Come over and see me. Y'all know where I is. Just uh, follow the smell of pickle juice because I got my feet soaking up here in a bucket of ice and pickle juice. Oh, and it feels so good, Michael Berry. <laughs> Shirley Kulika, we are delighted to have you back in the great state of Texas and home where you belong in Orange. I know you got washed out with, uh, was it Katrina or Ike that ran you out? Katrina told me out of Mississippi, and then Rita told me out of Texas, and I've been sitting up there stove up in Kentucky for five years waiting on my free fried chicken, which had never came food. So I am home. I am home again in now, Orange. They don't have Ames anymore, do they? No, they don't. They be closing. They don't have a KFC up in here. Oh no! My Orange God. have really went down here. I, I'm gonna have to run for city council or something. If if Shirley Lee Jackson could do it, I could do it. See, hey, there you have it, Shirley Q. Licker. Thanks for being with us. Tell your mom and them. I say how she doing. Happy Easter to your children.